Today I have a very quick video for you on how to loudness normalize your videos for the web using Adobe Audition. So check it out. Hi friends, my name is Oliver and usually on this channel I talk about audio for video and sometimes I talk about video production and creativity and composing and all those things. So if that's you at all, subscribe. We're growing a lot this year. Lots of good content to come. I promise. I know it's been a slow year. I'll probably make a video about that some other time. So a couple months ago I made a video about using Premiere Pro's tools to loudness normalize your videos for the web. We talked about the web standard for loudness is negative 16 LUFS, and that's just an agreed upon standard. It's nothing super official, but it's just what we all agree on, or what the web agrees on, and YouTube agrees on, and all these other platforms. So, how do you get your final mix to be at that loudness by using Audition? Well, it's a hell of a lot quicker and simpler than Premiere. So if you're an Adobe Creative Cloud member, user, and you have Audition, it's gonna be so much easier for you. So. Start in Premiere, make sure your mix is totally done. Everything is leveled, everything is faded because there's no going back, this is the final step. So everything needs to be fully finished. Export and ch click Waveform Audio in the Export dropdown instead of H.264. It's gonna kill the video, just gonna be a literal bounce of the entire audio session making a master track. Go ahead and hit that, don't worry about sample rates and anything, that's only for nerds, it doesn't actually matter that much at all, despite what some people want to tell you. The 48K, 44.1, 16-bit, it's all fine. I mean, I made a video about that too. If you want to watch it, you can go find it somewhere. <laughs> so then once that actual Wave master file has been exported into an intuitive place on your hard drive or wherever you store your stuff, open up Adobe Audition. Bring in the file into Adobe Audition, then go up to Window, open up Match Loudness, which is one of the settings. It'll pop this little thing open. I like to put it right underneath next to where the track mixer is. Drop the actual audio file into the Match Loudness window and it's gonna analyze it right away and tell you exactly where you're at. So this one, as you can see, it's like around negative 20. It's a little bit quieter than we want. We can bump that about four decibels. And in Premiere, that was a really clumsy process. Audition, it's a split second thing. So go to Match Loudness Settings, opens up a little box below it where it's already default set to negative 16. Already default has a true peak limiter on with a threshold at negative one. You can leave all that. And if yours is different for some reason, change it to exactly these. Negative 16 is the target loudness we're trying to hit. That's the standard for web. Always have a true peak limiter engaged because sometimes if you have peaks that are pretty high, when it normalizes everything, those will end up clipping. So just deal with that by putting a limiter there and it'll pull those back and keep it all sounding nice, tasty, delicious, and crispy. And negative one is a great threshold for that just because, you know, you don't want to go too hot with your peaks. You never go too hot with your peaks. Especially when it gets compressed on YouTube, it can kind of mess with that and sometimes there's clipping. I've had some people literally download videos of mine and blame me for clipping and I'm like, look, it wasn't my fault, bruh. Anyway. Haters. So once that happens, you need to save the actual file, which changes all the information in the file to a perfect loudness setting, then bring it back into Premiere. And what I like to do is duplicate the sequence so that you don't lose any data if there are errors during this process or if you accidentally move something around. Then kill all the audio in your brand new copied over sequence and drop in the master wave file right there. Once that's done, export as usual, upload to wherever you like to upload, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, I don't know, MySpace, Twitch, whatever you guys are on, upload and you're good. And it's normalized and it sounds great and it's just the right loudness. It's not gonna blast anybody's ears off and it's not gonna be so quiet that we're going to max volume just trying to find out what you're saying. Because remember, YouTube will mess with your loudness. If you upload a video that's too hot, YouTube will bring it down. It'll auto-normalize using some algorithm that they have. And if it's too quiet, they'll bump it up a little bit. And I don't want that. I want to have full control over my loudness when I upload a video to YouTube or Vimeo or Frame.io or anything else that I'm using, whether it's client work, YouTube work, or fun work. <laughs> so it's literally that simple. Loudness is important. Don't overlook it. And if you're just in Premiere, then there's a tutorial that I'll link at the end that you can go back and watch. It's a little bit more of a clumsy process because they don't have an auto-normalization feature. They do at the end and I had some questions about that but that's based on peaks it's not based on overall and that's not good you don't want to normalize based on peaks very different very different so that's all if you got questions leave them in the comments below let's go talk down there with the keyboards or hit me up on Instagram Twitter I love interacting with all of you answering questions asking questions and sending each other memes as well as trolling people that I look up to and respect. That's what I like to do most of the time. I have a lot of interesting, good, exciting, and educational content to come before 2019 is over and I'm excited to get back into it. And with nothing else, I will see all of you soon.